What is going on, my beautiful, beautiful people? Today we are going to be playing this game called Lightyear Frontier. It's kind of like a Fallout 4 meets Minecraft with the mech suits. So pretty much you're just going to be advancing in this farming and just growing and exploring and trying to get as far as you can. Explore new tech, do all these amazing and awesome things. Um, before we get into this, make sure you like, subscribe, do all those amazing things because you guys are amazing people. But with nothing else to say let's get into this all right guys so here we are starting off with a little bit of a somatic scene earth's no good anymore some like you have taken off for the light year frontier you want a fresh start a new home i like to stay quiet during these cutscenes so you guys can kind of get the cinematic experience with me If I was to guess, I would say that we probably crash landed on some sort of mysterious island and now we're just kind of come to our senses, kind of like, what the heck just happened? It looks like they mistrojected the landing or something failed when it was landing. It looks like my mech's over there. So we're just kind of walking. Find your mech. Okay, so that's our first mission, but look at this, guys. This game honestly looks pretty amazing. I love the art style that they have going on right now. I mean, this, the colors, it's such a colorful game, such a colorful game, man. Like, I wish, like, I don't think YouTube will do it as good justice as, like, I'm seeing it right now. I wish it would, but just, just trust me on this one, guys. It's, it looks amazing. But let's go get this mech suit taken care of. Let's see what we might be able to encounter along the way. It looks like there might be... A waterfall over here that's a little interesting so there are water physics in the game these weird flying birds are the only ones I see right now uh, I assume there are probably gonna be more animals it looks like there's something over here too. some burn burning maybe maybe that's another part of our crash area who knows but that water looks amazing well so it seems like we've ran into an invisible wall can't really explore and touch and see the water physics but we need to find our mech to explore further so let's looks like it's over right over here more of these flying birds no tool equipped so it looks like there's quite a few of these markings oh we're getting some radio static oh it looks like we finally have our pickaxe so strike grab oh this little whirly mode that's actually kind of cool okay how do i grab hold lt and press to launch oh all right there we go just gotta take it over and clip it in there attach mech arm okay grab this guy over here here's your arm back buddy oh flip okay let's see first first mech I bet I'm pretty sure probably as we advance a little bit further in this we'll get new mechs or maybe more upgrades to this mech but right now I'm I'm happy with it it's pretty pretty neat find your tools change camera view okay so there's a third person view it's kind of got a 360 driver scope thing going on with it I like it I like it uh, so I assume that all these little care packages are what I'm supposed to be getting getting my spike saw sea shooter all that good stuff vacuum harvester let's go grab that so everything is done through this mech that's very oh here's some water physics let's see can this thing so it can't swim we do now know that uh that was a uh rough spot so it seems like the farm tech protocol we're a part of is canceled we might know that we might not I don't know quite how long he's been traveling but I'm sure he's got a little bit of rocket boost is true but I'm sure that uh, it'll let us know kind of more about his story and how he ended up here and how long he was in space and all that stuff later on in the game but what's this uh, I'm not gonna mess with that right now that I don't want to so that's our saw Oh, it's like a jackhammer. Restore pot. I ain't even. 
I ain't even done with everything else yet. Let me get my tools first. So I was just out here walking around being silly and I found that the saw mode, I figured what one it was, it's the right trigger. But if I looked at the bottom uh, right corner, I'd be able to see that it says switch tools, these, and then saw swipe, spike punch. Can I spike punch this thing? Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. Ugh. Then here's our vacuum. Can we vacuum these guys up? No. All right, looks like we just got our sea shooter guys. So let's test, uh, I actually don't want to test this out because it does have ammo on it. All right, so it looks like we're coming up on our next tool. If I can, don't know. Oh, that slows me down. Let's just jump over this real quick. Irrigation hose. I'm guessing this might be how we get rid of these the slime it is so before I was rudely interrupted uh, We're just gonna head over to this next one over here. It seems like quite the distance and then we will go clear those Restore, you know restore the pine heights like it says and then we will Maybe build our base after that. We'll see what it has in store for us But right now we're just headed over this little beacon and if anything happens, I'll show you guys something interesting. If not, I'll show you guys when we get over there. All right, so we got to our next little thing. It's the sprout cannon. So let's pick this up real quick. Guessing this might be later later on during this. We you know when we start farming and stuff, we'll be able to use this to collect the sprouts or to maybe make more seeds or something like that. But we'll we'll figure it out. All right, so we're headed back over here. This is kind of where the Pine Heights is. We're gonna get over there. We're gonna start do clearing all that out, and then once we start on that, we'll see what else they have for us. They our other mission is collect wood and collect plant fiber so i might just hit that out actually right now since we're right by some of these let's just boost on over there do 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 saw there we go and then build a place to sleep yeah i'll wait until i restore wow this is giving me a lot of I do things that I need to do now. I might have messed up and gone a little bit ahead of schedule, but now we're just gonna go restore Pine Heights. It looks like we gotta search some things and then clear some things. So let's, where's my, oh, I just passed my water water gun. No ammo. Where do I go to get ammo for this thing? Um, Maybe I go to water to get it? That would make sense, right? Cause it was shooting water. Where is a water source? I'm dumb guys. So I accidentally switched the ammo on it. I guess I was on some leaf bullshit, but right here's the water. So we're just gonna go back. Move out of my way. Gosh, we're just gonna go back in here and start cleaning this place up. Uh, it's kind of getting nighttime. I do believe there's a flashlight mode somewhere. What button? What button? No, 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 no. Down on joystick. Got it. So here's our flashlight mode. Let's start cleaning some of these suckers out. Okay. Well, now we gotta go find water again. This is gonna be a long process, ladies and gentlemen. And I have just fallen. Yep. First, first ever rollover in a mech, but you know, probably won't be the last time that happens. Let's see, where in the, I know there was some water around here, so where did it just disappear to? Here's a, maybe I can just collect it out of the freaking ocean. That's about where I'm going to head. Because I cannot find it to save the life. Yeah, I don't think I can just jump down there and get it. Um, These mechs are hard to control. I tell you what, I smashed into probably about 12 trees. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get through there. But yeah, this is honestly very difficult to control. That is probably why they added a flip mech button because they understand, there's some water, thank God. They understand that people will probably flip these quite a bit. Okay, how do I refill this? Can I do this? Can I do it like this? Ah. Now if I go back, he 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 he. Got figured out. So we found out where the water was in this area. So now we're just gonna, no way I'm gonna have to, every time these take like all, oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to go back so many times. But yep, yeah, we're just gonna be clearing this out. So this is what my life is, a uh, slime cleaner. So 
but eventually we'll get into the farming and all that good stuff. So I think we've cleared out all the slimy spots. So I think now we just need to kind of clear these dead trees. So we're going to be working on that. Let's see what this tree gives me though as a drop. Soft wood and plant fibers it looks like. Can I? There we go. The it's This game is in beta so I'm not expecting it to run perfectly. Some of the pickups are a little wonky. You'd expect them to fall and all of them just coming at once but you kind of have to hop around a little, a little bit for it to work but as expected it's a beta game cut it a little bit of slack other than that i do love like the the roots they're even blowing in the wind like that much attention to detail for probably a small developing crew i would assume uh is honestly insane nope get out of the water is honestly pretty insane and props to them for making this so i was just chopping down some trees and it looks like i collected a a pine sprout there's the word i'm looking for so it looks like i'll be able to plant the tree maybe but i'm gonna see if i can't pick up this geo shard nope maybe if i cut down this tree right here get this large pine out of the way then i will be able to collect that geo shard let's see maybe maybe doesn't look like it's allowing me to collect this geo shard yep so that's just gonna stay there maybe if i do one of these oh there we go i just had to poke it a little bit give her a little poke right, let's go back to this guy and start chopping away some of these trees I found out that this does actually have like a swingy, swingy movement to it, so it like has a hitbox to itself. I don't think I'm cleaning up Pine Heights anymore, so I'm actually going to travel back this way. I don't know when I got... Okay, I thought I died or something. I was like, whoa. So every time it switches a day... Oh. Well, thank you, uh, Piper. Yeah, thank you, Piper. I expect I appreciate the compliments. Okay, so this is kind of... I think they just want us to get these slimy bits. I don't know. I thought that getting some of those trees was helping at first, but now it just kind of seems like it was a waste of time. So here's some more slime. Let's go clean this up. Get some of this taken care of. I'm curious as to what this is though. It looks like some ancient ruins maybe. But let's... Oh, let's see what Piper has to tell us. An ancient mega structure. Seems like there might be shards of things up here. Let's see. Oh, I cannot. Oh God, I messed up. I messed up. Did I just break it? Oh, did I just break this? Please tell me it'll come out. There we go. Fix it. So those of you it looks like you gotta get on feet four and kind of pick up those. Let's actually see what they are. Let's come over here. They do have a jump feature in this game, which is nice. Let's see, what are you? Strange rocks. Analyze. Oh no, I thought you would know, Piper. Piper, you're like the expert of this place. But do we have fall damage? Doesn't look like it. Looks like there is no fall damage in this game. So that is a plus for us. Looks like there's a there's an abandoned mine shaft here too. Let's see what this is. What's in here? Whoa. I don't want to run into something I'm not quite prepared for yet. Looks like there's another artifact though. Let's go collect this. Thank you. And then another one down here. Let's go get this. So it seems like these art. I don't know what these artifacts do, but um, there's nine of them. So. Maybe if we find them all. Here's another one over here. Something will happen. So I'm going to look for these for a little bit. Looks like there's another one right here. Can I get it without having to get out? Looks like I can. Um, 
there's three more somewhere. Not quite exactly sure where. Maybe down here a little ways there might be one. All right, well, it turned out there wasn't one down there. I'm getting distracted, though. Let's go finish up cleaning uh, what we need to clean up and get it all taken care of. So that way we can finally go on to building the farm stuff. All right, guys, so we just got done, you know, doing all the pine stuff. I honestly took me a very, very long time to figure everything out and find out where it exactly wanted me to start clearing. So I kind of skipped a lot of it it wasn't really interesting just a lot of boring stuff but now i can build my small plot so let's go over is this it how do i small tent storage box small plot so let's go and let's see where should i feel like this is a good like starting out spot like somewhere because i think this is some water over here yeah so kind of a starting a good starting out spot right here is because we got some water over there. Add all this stuff. Oh, I don't have enough wood. I need to go get some more wood. So we're gonna just come over here, chop some of this wood down. Oh, wrong button. And then we're gonna go finish that little small plot. Okay, so I have picked up too much wood. I'm over encumbered now, and it seems like I can't use my jump button when I am over encumbered. So that is good to know. Plant is can I, okay. I'm not over encumbered. Plant a seed in a mound. So I'm guessing I go to the seed planter, right? And I just boop. Oh, it's like a shooting game. Oh, oh. I better not miss because I, I think if I miss, I don't think I can pick this back up. Can I? Oh, you can. Okay, okay. Now that I planted those, I'm guessing they'll need some form of water. They do need water. See. I assume probably later on down the road, you will be able to like automate this kind of and probably have your own water, water, what's the word I'm looking for? Sprinklers. Jeez. Your own water sprinklers and all that stuff. Looks like I'm going to need more wood for that. I can build a campfire, but right now let's build a place to sleep because that is what it really wants me to do um let's see i might just rotate this and kind of back it up right against my little plot right here just so everything's nice and close cancel add max all right now we have this place so we're just gonna sleep real quick wait till the morning keen eye okay i didn't really read what that was but we are now on day three region restored pine heights Looks a lot better. Looks like there's some uh, materials in there that weren't in there before. At least not what I could see. So I assume that is what Restoring Regions does. It brings you different types of materials that you didn't know about. Uh, so this right here is new. Maybe it'll... There you go. So it seems like there's. you also will be able to unlock that after you restore all of the areas. Uh, let's see. Can I build the fodder oven while we are here? I cannot build the fodder, fodder, fodder oven. So it looks like we're just going to be doing a little bit more of what we did the other day and go and collect some of this wood up here. And then we will build that uh, work sh workshop shed. I've become over encumbered. Is there, let's see, economics. So it does look like there's a trading system, which is actually really interesting. So there's currencies and stuff like that. Base value is 450, but it's up right now. It's currently I could sell it for 495. So it seems like they they put a lot of effort into this, which I really enjoy. Um, like having a whole economical system, and I'm sure this is just what's in my inventory right now. So I'm sure once I get further in and have all of this stuff up, I mean. They must have spent a lot of time figuring the all the stuff out about all that. I am over encumbered still. Let's build. Can I build the workshop shed yet? Please tell me I can. No, I still need a lot of wood. So what we're going to do is build a storage box. We're just going to put it right in here, right outside of our house right there. Let's build and then cancel and then add all of it 
open and let's just start throwing everything we can in there that we don't need there we go we are empty let's go and collect some more of this wood i also placed this really close to a nice little wood area which is nice because i can hit multiple trees at once a little hint you can kind of go in between hit multiple trees at once like i was doing there it makes this a lot quicker chopping down all these trees all right so let's see workshop shed i'm sure we can build that now are you serious we can't build that yet is it i wonder does this not okay so i need to have everything on my person but still even if we do we don't have enough for everything so no not what i wanted there we go so now we gotta go back i think we gotta chop one more tree and then we'll be able to do a lot of this stuff all right well i just collected a sh crap ton of wood off all of that so now let's go and build our workshop shed should be able to there we go oh this is a big can i only build it in my desert i can't build it outside of it i should be able to build it outside of it it just won't like click into place like it would if i built it in so we're just gonna line this up kind of right out here that seems good to me. And now we're just gonna add max. And there we go, workshop shed is done. Build an oil pressure inside of the shed. Let's get on to that. All right, so it looks like to build the oil pressure, we need some rock. So let's go over here. <coughs> ah, bless myself. Let's get over here, take care of some of this rock, get all this stuff cleaned up. Let's see. I have 14. Yeah, I think that was enough to build this. This thing's so hard to control. Jeez. Especially when you run. Maybe it's because I'm running so much. All right. So now looks like we can rotate to somewhat. So it seems like it feeds out this way. So I'm just going to... I'm honestly probably going to put them back... Probably gonna place because I'm sure there's gonna be more things that are gonna have to be placed inside of here. So I'm just thinking about probably placing them all forward. Maybe that's not the best option, but that is what I'm thinking of doing right now. If you guys have any tips for what I should maybe do in the future, how much can I? Yeah, I just. Okay, so it does take plant fiber, but I have a lot of those. So. Craft any oil, build a fodder oven. Fodder oven, I need two of those. And 20 rock, I have the wood. So let's go and collect more rock. All right, this last one should give me my 20 rock. There we go, 22. Let's head back on over here. Jump over all this. Whoop. Now build my fodder oven. I need, there we go, fodder oven. So this is a tiny little cute guy. Um... Kind of rotate, there we go. Kind of not put it any closer, it doesn't look like it. So we're gonna build it there, add max. There we go, fodder oven is done. Now build merchant landing. Let's see, what is it? Merchant landing needs all of that stuff. Craft fodder in the fodder oven. Basic fodder, need plant oil. Oh, there we go, just got some plant oil, so let's do two basic fodders might as well and there we go we got our basic fodder all right guys well i am gonna be ending the video here uh next one we'll do the build merchant landing like it's telling us to do but right now this is gonna be the end of it for me been playing for a little bit but hopefully y'all enjoyed this video like i said if you did please like subscribe comment share all that good stuff and I hope y'all have a beautiful, beautiful evening, afternoon, morning, whatever you're doing. If it is the start of the day, have a fantastic day to all your beautiful people. Deuces.